main teaching of the Course is that you must bring illusions to the truth. And this means that you bring the beliefs in your mind of time and space, of separations, of personalities, of judgments, of concepts. You bring them inward to the light where they are dissolved and where they are disappear in the light. Because yeah. when you bring darkness to light, yeah. only light remains. Yeah. Now this whole world and everything that seems to go for spirituality in this world is an attempt to bring the light into the darkness. We, mm. There's buildings yeah, built, that's true. and there's seminars and workshops, yep. and the word God is used in all these things. And I see many, many, many books being written on how to bring God into the workplace, oh. bring God into your family, bring God into your church. But God is eternal spirit, and yeah. you cannot bring God into an illusion. <laughs> you can yeah. just take your beliefs and your about the churches, the persons, the places, and things, and say, Maybe I've been wrong about all of it, mistaken about the whole thing. Bring those inward to the light and then they disappear. Yeah. This is a very important yeah. distinction because otherwise, you know, how many seminars can you go to for a hundred or a thousand dollars on becoming enlightened? How many mantras can you say? Yeah. How, many, how much money is spent in the name of God, right. in the name of helping the poor, helping this and that? when the entire thing is just a perceptual problem that needs an inner solution and the rest is a distraction. Yeah, and the light is all there is, so nothing. The light is just the light. Yes. That's all that it is. Yes, yes. And well, it feeds and feeds and it just, it's a creative, beautiful experience. It's yes. an experience. Yes. That's felt. Yes, it's an experience. Spirit creates spirit creates spirit. It's like there is no place that matter enters into that yeah. line of continuous creation. Mm. You know, the entire attempt to make up a world or to manifest the spirit, or as the Bible said, the word became flesh, Jesus is saying, no, you can't take something that's eternal and make it into something that's material. Yeah. The idea is so perfect that, that anything else that's, that's temporal, anything that's flesh, that's material, that involves time and space, is what needs to be dropped. Yeah. Drop off the illusion, drop off the temporal, and you're left with the eternal. Yeah. So a lot of this, um, and it's not just New Age, but just a lot of the philosophies and the psychologies and that are looking like they're moving ahead and evolving and getting better, are still... Uh, separate. Yeah, it's There's still, still separation devices. It's just the ego trying to bring God into the illusion. If the ego wants to perpetuate its existence, it doesn't mind if the mind, the, the deceived mind, believes in a concept of God, as long as it doesn't have the experience of God. Because in the experience of God, there is no ego. So the ego likes this. God this, God that, yeah. you know, it can be put into form in many different ways. You know, you sell the latest book about awakening to God, and you know, it's the old joke about there's a the line, a door that says heaven, and then there's a door that says lecture on heaven, <laughs> and there's all these bodies lined up going to pay $25, $100 a crack to hear yet another lecture on heaven. And meanwhile, Jesus is kind of at the other door saying, it's free. Over here, yep. come on, hop through, let's We're go. We're giving it away. It's just, yep, right in here. Yeah. And it's that simple, really. And as you take it, you give it. Yes. And we have been talking a lot to give it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't help but give it. That's what it you is. You cannot help but give it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Miraculous, easy, simple. Yes. Uncomplicated. Yes. Mm. And the ego has such a great time making things complicated. But I do feel this little... And it, it's really pulled out a lot of the stops yeah. and, and really pulled a lot of people into putting off salvation. Yeah. Yeah, one problem, one solution. Salvation is accomplished. Uh, the, the ego would, of course, want to make it seem like there's multiple egos, that everybody has an ego. So that's, what do we got now? That would be six billion yeah. egos. Six billion egos on this planet alone colliding with each other each day in, in all kinds of layers of conflicts and controversies and what you're supposed to invent psychologies and, and different ways of, of mediating, of helping those, dealing with of dealing with those. No, what the Course is saying, no, there is one mind and the way back to that is realizing there's one ego. 
And that's why when anytime there's a, a really going into it, it must be seen that a, that a dark thought system is just being unveiled. And nothing more than that. It's not personal. There's not any bodies that have bigger issues or smaller issues. Yeah. It's just that the mind that believes that it can come into bodies, the mind that believes it can take on a form, is the problem. Yeah. And it says, to, the question is given Jesus, how many teachers of God does it take to save the world? He says, one. Yeah. One teacher who wholly knows who he is, knows the divine mind, knows that he is not a body and not in a body. Well, that explanation in the Chorus right there tells us that, that it is a divine mind that knows its pure abstraction and oneness that is yeah. the Savior of the world. Yeah. So when Jesus said, when I awoke, you were with me, it is literally a reflection that this world is over. Not that Jesus personally seemed to do something 2,000 years ago and now little by little, hundreds and thousands and maybe millions and billions of others over a long period of time are going to have to make it, you know, like, to, to, yeah. like Jesus. Yeah. But it's just the remembrance that it is solved. Yeah. It is finished. It's done. Yes. Yeah. It's miraculous. Yes. Well, our friends are going to be in prayer tonight <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> with us. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Yes. Deep, just receiving yes just receiving yes. and the gifts are always there yes but our friends will find that out and they may mm -hmm. know boy Dave you really bring things right down to the moment go deeply within yes. we could call this program go deeply within yes that's it I mean, Amen. it's like the the final prayer that need be ever offered is father what is your will for me you know and God's will for us is perfect eternal happiness, peace of mind that goes on and on and on and on. If prayers are answered, it can't be that, that there's a problem with the answering of the prayer. It's really that if the prayer is limited, if the prayer is improve my human condition, yeah. if the prayer is <laughs> get me a better self, get me a better